Hey folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Uh, today we're making another mini food. It is a turn of a mini Big Mac today. Uh, lots of you have been requesting this one throughout the mini food playlist and I just love the whole play on words of mini, big and mac, I guess, because it's a Big Mac. You know when you go to McDonald's and you see that giant Big Mac and when it comes out it's like a quarter of the size and it's all messy and stuff? This is kind of like a role reversal of this, so it could turn out absolutely enormous. But before we get started, I want to just quickly show you, uh, for those of you that follow me on social media, you might have seen uh, that I smashed the wall down uh, yesterday that separates my living room uh, to the Virgin Kitchen. So I've knocked that down, because uh, what we're going to be doing is ripping out the studio kitchen. Lots of you are asking what's happening with that. We've decided now we're going to rip the kitchen out of here and then install the studio kitchen in here, because it was just sat there gathering dust for like five days a week. So now we're going to use it in here. It's going to be our home kitchen, and it should look, by the time the work's done, exactly the same. Anyhow, let's make a big, no, mini Big Mac. Yes. All right then, folks, so a mini Big Mac needs mini patties. This is just a tablespoon of beef mince from the supermarket in that little wormy vibe thing it's got going on. So I'm just gonna uh, squish it together first of all, and we're gonna make two patties out of this baby. All right, so I'm gonna cut it in half with my uh, mini tool. Uh, this is one of those, like, I think it's a nail file. It's never been used, uh, but uh, yeah, I don't think it envisaged being turned into Big Mac patty slicer thing. So I'm just gonna roll these up into a circle and a little tap down like so. Right, so the patties are done. I'm gonna put them in the fridge on a princess plate. Very important to use one of those uh, just to keep them firm for a minute. And now we're gonna segregate our buns, which sounds very kinky. So these are a pair of lovely little buns that I got my local baker to make for me. Uh, basically what we need to do is halve one of them to make that mini bun. So we'll go for this one uh, for the Big Mac middle bit. Alrighty. All right, I could do with a, a small bread knife to be honest to do this task, but this is the smallest knife I've got, so I'm sticking with it. Uh, just gonna make this little disc shape at the middle wedge of our bun. Here we go, and there it is. Yeah, and for the other bun, I've just simply uh, sliced it in half. So there we go then guys, buns are ready. Let's toast them. Guys, I just remembered the tops of these buns have a little bit of sesame seed on, so I've just got a little bit of melted butter uh, and some sesame seeds, and there we go. This should create our sesame seed uh, lid, yeah. Okay, folks, uh, this pan's starting to get quite warm. I don't want it too hot, otherwise it will scorch the burgers very quickly. Uh, in I go, placing down one, the bottom one there as well, and I'm just going to reach in here and get the middle section. Uh, in terms of turning the middle section, I've got my tweezers ready, baby. Let's have a little look. Oh, it's nearly there. Can you see that toasted edge? A teeny bit longer. I'll turn this one over. Oh, it's getting there too. Any minute now. In fact, we'll jump to the toasted buns now. There we go then folks, toasted buns. Let's get our veg prepped before cooking up our patties. Oh actually, let's not forget about the cheese. Um, I've given this tool a good old wash. I'm just gonna slice down. Uh, here we go, oh this is almost perfect for it. Loving it. Uh, so maybe uh, two squares like this and a little bonus piece. Alrighty. So for the sliced onion, I only need a little bit. So I'm just gonna grate up an onion. It's gonna get a bit wet, but on the back of it, hopefully, doo -doo -doo -doo, if I show you, there should be, yes, that is our diced onion. So I'll let the diced onion just sit there and dry out for the moment. This is a baby gherkin. They actually exist and I'm using, uh, I think it's like a toenail thing, isn't it that? I don't know. I'm just gonna get about three little slices of gherkin. Everyone loves gherkin, right, in McDonald's? Whoa, <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, that was Boston. What are you choking on, boy? What's the matter? You all right? Just chilling out? All right, let's go. Cool. Sorry about that, I think Boston was just dreaming about uh, mini Big Macs. He always sits by my feet, if you're wondering, guys, when I'm doing videos, I don't always show him. Uh, but I'm using this tool again. I'm actually in love uh, with this thing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just slice up our lettuce by just going back and forth like this. Quite sharp, I'm loving it. I will never use this. It's never been used, uh, just like that kit I've been using, like the tweezers, it's never been used on feet or anything like that. This is purely for mini food. The last step before building it, guys, is just to cook our patties. I'm gonna use some of that leftover butter uh, that I had before. Just gonna sort of lubricate the pan a teeny weeny bit. Now we'll get our patties in there. All right, so in they go. I'm gonna give it a cheeky little seasoning of black pepper on top as well. And then I'll flip it and do the same. All right. This would actually make amazing little party food, I reckon. All right, cheeky little flip with the uh, princess spoon there. The tweezers weren't quite gripping it, but as you can see, that's 20 seconds of cooking and it's not gonna be medium rare. I have got to say, the smell in here is incredible. That's those burgers done. They're just gonna sort of soak into that kitchen towel a little bit. Let's build a mini Big Mac. There goes our base. 
Now the first thing that officially goes on top of it is Big Mac Special Sauce, which I've made before, but basically if you look at the ingredients, it's just a flashy Thousand Island dressing. Now I'll just put down some of our onions, <laughs> some lettuce, a slice of cheese, all right, let's get that there. Our first patty, <laughs> the middle bun, with some more of that sauce on it, a little bit more onion and lettuce. Then the gherkins, alrighty. The other beef patty. And last but not least, our lid. Now I don't know about you, that is a pretty big mini Big Mac. All right. It's fair to say this little Big Mac has turned out a right little stonker and placing a slice of orange next to it for scale really does it some justice. Uh, you could wedge a bamboo skewer through it if you want to serve them at a party. I'm now going to do the proper McDonald's, you know, slow thing, but here we go. Mmm. Yeah guys, that was very nearly an R. Kelly moment right there. I need to remain calm. Tastes just like the real thing. Super, super good. Uh, if you've missed my last video, you can check it out there. If you have a request for another mini food, uh, leave me a message down below or email me a video message on your phone, something like that. Groovybaz at yahoo.co.uk. Email it there and I'll embed it in the video. So uh, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Mm.